Good morning, afternoon, evening. My name is Jen, the Caffeinated Crafter, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a stitch with me. Um, we are going to be starting Steampunk Coffee Mill. This is from Maya Stitch on Etsy. Um, it'll be a new start. Um, I'm going to be working off of paper, uh, but I will say that uh, the she does include just real quick she does include multiple uh, formats of her patterns so this one in particular has uh, the pattern in color with the back stitching on it in color without the back stitching on it black and white with back stitching and black and white without back stitching so you could if you use pattern keeper you could download the copy of the black and white without back stitching into pattern keeper um, to try and make your lives a little bit easier um, but I don't want to do all that because <laughs> then I have to go on my computer find the pattern email it to myself so I can pull it up on my tablet and all that I don't want to do all that so I'm just gonna work off the paper anyway so this is the piece we're gonna be starting I'm just doing this on a 14 count white Ada and I have my first thread threaded in my needle now I got to figure out where I'm at with it. That one there. That there. Okay. Alright. I think I'm ready. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing today? doing great I'm gonna kind of do some half stitches here to get up this color kind of like goes up just a little bit but m most of the color is like down here so I'm just gonna kind of go up to get these right here so anyway I posted today's Sunday but you're gonna see this probably I'm not sure exactly when you're gonna see this I got to figure out what I need to figure out is if I post If you watch my floss tube, then you saw that I am trying, I'm going to do weekly updates for right now to see if I like that format better. I've been thinking about doing it for a bit. Um, But it was always timing because I have my kids every other week and I don't like recording when I have them because they make noise and they interrupt and I don't like all that. I need peace when I film. Uninterrupted silence, which never happens. I even tried one time uh, last year, I think it was, I tried recording my whip parade while I had them but they were sleeping and of course you know it's like middle of the night because it's on a weekend so it's like no big deal I'm usually up late on the weekends anyway so middle of the night I'm trying to record my floss tube or my whip parade and my 13 year old comes out in the middle of the night like dude it's the middle of the night he was half asleep he didn't know what was happening my 13 year old he's like one of those people where he will wake up and he could have a conversation with you and go back to sleep and he does not remember it at all. And he did that. And I'm like, oh my God. And this was before I had gotten, was that this year or was that, maybe it was my mid-year whip parade. Might've been the mid-year whip parade. It was. It was the mid-year whip parade. That's what it was. Because I couldn't edit at the time. Because I didn't have enough space in my phone. That's what it was. It was the mid-year whip parade. 
Oh, you know what? Let me do it like this. Hang on, I gotta count. Um, actually, I could just do this and then count. Um, so anyway, I don't like recording when I have the kids. So I was trying to figure out when I would be able to record if I did weekly updates. And then I had a little epiphany. I was like, oh, I could just record on Thursday nights before I get them back if I adjust my usual Saturday recording to Friday. So I'll just get home from work on Friday, record my video, and then see what I can get done up until Thursday. And then Thursday when I get home, I'll record another update. But then I run into the problem of, well, when, because Apparently, my videos, no matter how frequently I do them, are going to be an hour and a half long, if not more. <laughs> so, so they likely won't be posted till the next day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because I have to edit, and then I use iMovie. I have an iPhone, and I use iMovie to add in the photos, like the before pictures. So then once I do that, I have to export the video back onto my phone because iMovie does not give you the option to upload directly to YouTube. Um, so I have to export the video and then upload it to YouTube. Hang on one second. Thread's starting to get twisted. There we go. Um, which takes time. So my Thursday update likely won't post until Friday. So my Friday videos will post on Saturday and my Thursday videos will post on Friday. And then I run into the conundrum of when do I post a stitch with me? Do I just go ahead and post it like on a Tuesday? And then it feels off balance because I would only have, unless I record another stitch with me later this week and I save that one for the following Tuesday. You guys might get sick of me at that point. <laughs> Y'all might get sick of me at that point. That'd be like two videos a week. Um, but it would feel off balance to have a floss tube and then a stitch with me and then a floss tube and then nothing until the following floss tube. Does that make sense? So I, what I might do, I have a little chat with some of my friends about it, is I might record a stitch with me um, after work, like on Tuesday or Wednesday, after a few days go by and I think of something else to talk about. Um, and, uh, and then I could just save it for the following week. So, okay. So, anywho. What did I make for dinner last week? Let's go back to food. That's always my that's always my fallback. Of course, I <laughs> fake plans for me not only are with my cross stitching, they're also with my food. <laughs> fake plans follow me to dinner as well. Um so what did I make? We well we ended up going out to dinner twice because I did not do what I said I was going to do in my stitch with me regarding dinner. Um, and I didn't have dinner. We, we always go out on Friday because 
I don't go grocery shopping until the weekend, so I don't typically have anything for them for dinner on Fridays. So we just do that as our going out to dinner night. And so we ended up going to um, this all-you-can-eat sushi place that uh, opened up over by us. I mean, it's been open for a while, but we just, I always kind of forgot about it because we have a sushi place that we really enjoy going to. Um, but one of my coworkers was telling me about this, this sushi place. And it's basically like a all you can eat place, but it's not a buffet. You sit there and order the food and they just bring it out to you. And everything that you order comes like if you order shrimp tempura, it, they just bring you out like two pieces of shrimp. You know what I mean? Um, there are sushi rolls that you do get about five to eight pieces of sushi. Um, but everything else is literally single serving. I mean, I guess technically the sushi roll is too. But um, but the... Uh, yeah, technically the sushi rolls are single serve. But um, they're not like, you know bite size. I just realized I don't have my, um, what's it called? Needle minder on here. It's up on the lamp. That lamp right there. So it's going to shake if I try to grab it. Um, so anywho, I, uh, so I took them there and it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. We we all enjoyed it. We enjoyed it so much that when I realized I didn't have anything for dinner on Thursday before the night before they go back to their dad, uh, they were like, can we go to that sushi place again? Sure, boys. Plus, they have dessert. So, all you can eat plus dessert. And uh, what I liked about that is that I didn't have to worry about dessert for them. And I didn't have to pay extra for it. So we got fried cheesecake. All three of us ordered a slice of fried cheesecake for dessert each. And it was so delicious. Oh my god. What do I want to do? I think what I'm going to do, I'll just go ahead and go this way. So let me see the other nights. Uh, I ended up just going to Costco for most of my stuff because I had to pick up a few things there anyway. So we bought most of our dinner stuff from Costco this past week and we, I picked up some rotisserie chickens I picked up two of them because they were only like six dollars and I broke those down I think I made that that struggle soup that I was telling you all about before the ramen I made that for lunch um, I think it was that day and then I still had tons of chicken left over um, I they have uh, this huge pack of wings there they were like garlic I know they had garlic uh, it was like a rub and you just bake them in the oven but it was like a garlic was it it wasn't garlic parmesan because it was kind of red too almost like a garlic parmesan barbecue I don't know what it was I have no idea what the rub was but uh, we had that with homemade jalapeno poppers. Um, so how I made the jalapeno poppers, I sliced them in half and scooped out all the seeds and ribs. And then to cut down on the spiciness, because my 11 year old does not like stuff that's super spicy, so to cut down on the spiciness, or cut out the spiciness apparently is what I did altogether, I boiled them for, you could do anywhere from like five to 10 minutes, 
and I kind of lost track of, of time when I was doing it so it was probably closer to about 10 to 15 minutes is what I ended up boiling them for uh, but that actually will help kind of because sometimes I've just sliced them and said oh screw it I got the ribs out it'll be okay and then I would miss something and it would be like you bite into it and it'd be like really spicy um so I went ahead and boiled them for the sake of my 11 year old's palate and then I mixed together cream cheese and shredded like Colby Jack cheese mixed all that together and then I scooped it into the jalapenos and then I wrapped them with slices of bacon and then I put them in the oven if it's really thin bacon then it will get crispy if I baked it at 400 for about 30 minutes or so if it's thin bacon it'll get crispy I used thicker bacon so it wasn't as crispy but it was cooked and I told the boys I said well we can um, eat them as is or I can throw them back in the oven for a little bit longer and they were like is the bacon cooked I said yep and they were like all right fine we're okay with it so we did that and oh I made the potatoes that I usually make for breakfast um, I made those potatoes so it's just sliced up or diced up not sliced diced onions and potatoes threw them in a pan with some oil with salt pepper onion powder garlic powder <sighs> paprika and a little bit of cayenne pepper and you season until your heart says that's enough. You season with your heart. Um, and I did something with that chicken. What did I do besides the struggle soup? I know I made myself some chicken. Um, oh, that's right. We used some of the chicken. Um, Lachlan wanted to make the chicken stuffed shells. I think I've mentioned these before. It's a carb lover's meal for sure. This is not a diet meal, but the chicken stuffed shells is uh, cooked chicken, um, stovetop stuffing. We use the rotisserie chicken for it. Stovetop stuffing. You uh, boil up those big jumbo shells like you make stuffed shells with, you know, over in the pasta section. And uh, you stuff, uh, you cook those up so that they're al dente because they're going to cook a bit longer in the oven. So however soft you want them. Um, and then you stuff the shells with the pasta and the chicken, or the, you stuff the shells with the stuffing and chicken mixture. And then you put them in a casserole dish and I'm kind of stopping over here because um, wait a minute So what's happening? Hold on. Oh, wait. One, two. Hold on a second. I think I messed up somewhere. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I went too over, too far, didn't I? I sure did. Wait a minute. Three, six, two, four, six. That block.
block is only eight. That's why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I went over too far. All right, let me just make sure that those two stitches are correct. Oh, they are. Okay, all right, we're good. I was thinking that this last, uh, I'm working, I'm kind of down in the bottom corner of a page, of the first page, and I was thinking that was a block of 10, and it's not, so when I got over here, and I'm on the edge of the page, but this is going out still, I'm like, wait a minute, what in the world? But it's okay. I just checked the second page, and these stitches are fine, so I don't have to worry about it. If it was, if it, they weren't, I would just stitch over them, to be honest. But anyway, I'm good now. Okay, so back to the stuffed shells. So you put the stuffed shells in a pan, and you cover them with, you get the cream of, cream of chicken soup. And um, I usually use like two cans of it and um, go ahead and mix it with some water so it's not so thick and so you get more out of it. So you can go ahead and however many cans you do, you can do um, like that many cans of water to kind of thin it out and I put I spray the pan with Pam the nonstick spray the cooking spray if nobody knows what if you don't know what Pam is it's a nonstick cooking spray um, and because I hate scrubbing dishes and you put I put a little bit of the chicken soup stuff cream of chicken soup stuff in the bottom of the pan and then you put the shells on top of that and then you pour the rest of the soup mixture over the shells and then you just bake them at like what 375 for about 20 minutes and we did um a side of Lachlan cooked up some mushrooms for him and Peyton and then I had uh, I made some spinach with some garlic oh I'm gonna risk it y'all I'm gonna travel up one two three four five six One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but yeah, I made some spinach with some garlic. As another side, since I don't eat mushrooms. And uh, they, I don't know if they ate the spinach. I didn't even think to ask them. I was kind of distracted when I was eating. I... I think they ate the spinach. They didn't ask for more, but they ate it. That's what counts. Um, and then uh, I used more of the rotisserie chicken to make myself some chicken salad to bring to work. Oh yeah, we also had uh, sliced avocado as a side dish at Lachlan's request. I love avocado! Can we eat? Like I had some avocados because so I was going to bring them in for work. Lachlan's like, I really like avocado. Can we have avocado as a side dish? I'm like, sure, why not? Um, but I made myself some chicken salad. Um, I got, I used the rotisserie chicken and I put in, I, I got picked up some grapes couple apples. I had to go to Walmart too besides Costco. So while I was at Walmart I picked up some grapes, a couple apples. I had pecans and uh, walnuts already at home. So I chopped some of those up, chopped up the apples, sliced, sliced the grapes up, put it in the chicken with some mayonnaise and I did a little bit of I did some salt and pepper and everything bagel seasoning. And, uh, and then I ate that with the avocado at work, and it was so good. It was yummy. I feel like this is, like, super dark. Why is it so dark? I don't know. I don't know why it's dark. Maybe it won't be as dark on, on this once I'm done. I have no clue, because it's, like, super white. 
But anyway, anyway. Um, oh, I got to do a blend. Hang on. One moment, I gotta make a blend. Ah! I cannot for the life of me remember what else we did. What did we do for dinner? We picked up at Costco, we picked up, they have these yakisoba noodle packages that has like chicken and the noodles, um, veggies, and the sauces in cups. And basically you just kind of heat everything up and mix the sauce in. And um, we got some of the tempura shrimp in the freezer section and some dumplings that they had there so really that was more of like just heating stuff up but Lachlan did that um Lachlan made that dinner and then he made breakfast the next day he made bacon tater patties which are just like the frozen hash browns they look like the McDonald's hash browns um he made those in the air fryer. I, I'm sitting here talking and I cannot for the life of me remember what color I'm doing. Hang on. Filled in heart. Where am I starting? Right here. Um, and he made, uh, let me see, did we do bacon? Yeah, he did. What did we do for the meat? Was it bacon? No, it wasn't bacon. Smoked sausage. That's right. Because I didn't feel like dealing with the bacon and the bacon grease. I, he sliced up some smoked sausage and sauteed it in the pan. And um, he made poached eggs. He needs to practice his poached eggs. But he did better than I would have. I don't make poached eggs. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah. And then we had, I picked up uh, from Walmart, I got uh, Pillsbury makes like this monkey bread. And now I'm remembering what we did for dinner and stuff. Uh, Pillsbury makes this monkey bread. They come, it comes in like a garlic bread and then it comes in the traditional monkey bread that's sweet with the cinnamon and sugar and all that. And so he made the monkey bread for breakfast with the smoked sausage and tater patties and eggs. And um, and then another night for dinner, we made uh, Swedish meatballs. It's just about the only meatball that I'm willing to eat. I'm not really a big meatball person. I don't like the Italian, the pre-made Italian meatballs because I don't like fennel. And they put fennel in Italian meatballs, and I'm not really a big fan of sausage either. So when you get sausage meatballs with fennel in them, I'm like, bleh. <laughs> but um, we made Swedish meatballs with uh, egg noodles, and um, we used the garlic monkey bread from Pillsbury for that. Um, So wings, Asian, Swedish meatballs, stuffed shells. Yeah, that's what we did for dinner. And then we went out on Thursday. I feel like I talk about all these plans of making dinners, right, with y'all. And then I end up not doing it. Maybe I should actually go back and watch my stitch with me so I remember what I say I'm going to do. Because half the time I forget. And 
I'm like, what did I say I was going to do? And then I forget. And I'm like, ah, whatever. <sighs> so I got to come up with a plan for myself for dinner. Lunches at work and dinner. I think I might get another rotisserie chicken and make some more of that chicken salad because man, it was yummy. It was so good. Or I could, because I, I still have these avocados. I need to throw them in the fridge today before they turn up. You know how avocados are. They're good for about 30 minutes. They, it takes them forever to get ripe. And then once they do, you got about 30 minutes to eat them before they go bad. <laughs> so I'm going to have to throw the avocados in the fridge today. Because I think they're right about right about there. Um, and uh, I could also just do tuna salad. I have a lot of tuna in the pantry. I could make tuna salad to take to work. And eat it with the avocado. I gotta think of something for something for dinner for myself. Oh no, I gotta not. There we go. I hate cooking for one person. So after eating stuff for a few days, what I did for myself last week, actually I will say I I made this last week for my lunch for most of the week and or was it two weeks ago no it was two weeks ago the last time I didn't have the boys two weeks ago this week I was just doing like leftovers because I had the kids so I was doing like leftovers and just scrapping stuff together uh but the week before when I didn't have them and I knew I could safely cook my food and leave it in the fridge and not worry about them eating it and taking it for their lunch for school because now all of a sudden they want to bring their lunch instead of buying it. Um, two weeks ago I made a chicken stir fry with um, onions and peppers and I put in um, oyster sauce, hoisin, soy, fish sauce. It was so good. And I made rice to go with it. Um... Hang on, I don't want to lose my place here. And uh, I was thinking about doing like a something similar to that. Um, doing chicken again, like getting some chicken thighs and then putting like a, not doing barbecue sauce, but making like a barbecue rub. And sauteing it um, and then doing that with maybe some jasmine rice I bet that would be good ah, get off there we go um, I feel like I'm starting to get gnats in here because I have my back door, my, the porch door open so the cats can go on and off the porch. I'm in Florida, so there's always gnats, bugs of some sort. I think I caught one out of the corner of my eye flying around. I'm going to have to shut that door soon. It's actually a pretty decent day out weather-wise. It's not, like, super hot. So... So 
So yeah, if I make that barbecue chicken, I'll have to let you guys know what I did for the rub. Because to be honest, I know some stuff that goes in a barbecue seasoning. I just don't know everything. <laughs> so I got to look up a recipe for it. really have a whole lot to say today so I'm being kind of quiet might make this a shorter stitch with me especially since I think I'm going to be doing another one later this week to post for the following week I might have more things to say then I will say, I'm actually, today's only Sunday, and I did my new floss tube on Friday. Granted, you're going to be seeing this a few days later, but Friday, I got one of my milestones done after I did my floss tube, and then Saturday, yesterday, I did three more. I was banging the stitches out on Saturday. I did a total of 1,500 stitches. And I got three milestones done. How exciting is that? And then we'll see how it goes today. I might be able to get another couple out. Who knows, y'all? Who knows? I'm going to bring my Ocean's ABC piece to work with me and see how much I can get done. Not sure, because my coworker that was on vacation came back from vacation. He was at work on Thursday, and he looked awful. I mean, he looked like he had lost weight. He was, like, pale. I was like, dude, I've never seen, I said, you need to go see a doctor. Because, I mean, he was sick. He, he knew he was sick. He had gotten um, pneumonia, not COVID, but pneumonia. And um, while he was down there, and I was like, I've never seen a Puerto Rican, a sunburned Puerto Rican look so pale. Like, <laughs> he had gotten, like, he had gotten some sun. He went down to Brazil gotten some sun before he got sick and oh my god he looked awful he ended up in the hospital so he was in the he went in the hospital Thursday night right after he got back from his vacation so he was out on Friday I'm not sure when he's going to be coming back to work now hopefully he went home over the weekend fingers crossed and then he might need a day, a, a day or two to rest when he... Yeah, I know he's going to push to come back sooner because he used all of his PTO for his vacation. So he doesn't really have, like, sick time. Because at our place of employment, sick time and vacation time are the same thing. Isn't that awesome? There's no separate sick time and vacation time. It's all PTO, which is paid time off. They don't give you separate sick time vacation time. Isn't that just lovely? What was I doing? I was doing that blend. Okay. All right. Give me one second. I need to... Oh my god. Hang on a second. I need to make this mark for myself. I need to do this right here. 
so I know what blend that is. There we go. Okay. What am I doing next? Hang on, I'm picking another color. Here we go. I'm almost done with this bobbin. Look at that. Almost done. You know what? We'll just do extra long lengths and I'm just gonna finish that. I have another one in my in my case. We'll just do extra long lengths. So anyway, the whole point of telling you about my sick coworker was to say, I'm not sure how much stitchy time I'll have um, with him being out, out sick, but that's okay. I just hope he gets better quickly. It sucks when you're, when you're that sick that you end up in the hospital. Um, but yeah, so my plan is to bring my Ocean's ABC piece into work, see how much of that I can get done. Um, I'm going to try to get this milestone done today and see if I can bang out maybe one or two more. We'll have to see how it plays out because I still have to do honeymoon sunset and I still have to do honeymoon sunset and um, the hate cell so I won't be able to work on everything unfortunately because I just don't, I'm not going to have the time. There's just not enough hours in the day for me to be able to do that. So I'm going to see how many of these I can actually get done. I was excited when I saw they were all 500s. Except for a couple that were like, you know, finish a section. But for the most part, all of them were like 500, 500, 500. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Because I feel like in my mind, 500 is much more achievable than trying to get the 1,000 completed. Unless it's a really awesome project like my winter sampler was. <laughs> um... So, I don't know what I'm going to work on once I'm done with this piece. I have no clue. Whatever, whatever calls to me. I actually did, spoiler alert, I did end up working on that Best of Christmas, that Bucilla kit that I had to do, that sort that floss for. I ended up just pulling the floss out, looking at the colors, and then just finding something similar with my DMC. And I just did a DMC conversion and I wrote it on the on the thing. So I ended up just doing it that way. So I did work on that yesterday. Um, I don't know what else.
else I want to talk about. I can't think of anything. So I guess I should probably go ahead and end this. It's only 45 minutes, but that's okay. If you want more of me, just go back and watch the plus two because it's like, you know, hour plus. Um, Yeah, if I think of anything else to talk about, then I will talk about it in the next floss tube. I'll probably go ahead and try to do two floss tube, or not floss tube, stitch with me. I'll probably go ahead and try to film two stitch with me's the week I don't have the boys. That way I can post one every week between the floss tube videos, if that makes sense. Um... And, uh, yeah, that's about, that's about it. So, let me go ahead and just stop this here. Okay, so I got 135 stitches done during this. And again, this is what I was working on. It started in the middle. probably somewhere around here I'm thinking I don't know we'll see how it turns out so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section down below if you liked what you had to see and you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video and uh, yeah so that's it take care happy stitching get a lot of stitches in and I will see you in the next video take care everybody bye bye